When people think of Cape Verde, colorful towns, the fascinating sea life, water sports and beach vacations come to mind. But people tend to forget that life always starts with the small. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm from Germany, but I live in Vienna in Austria. I'm a nature conservationist and Darwin leader. And my project will be about the endemic plants of the island of Santo Antão in Cape Verde. In my hand I am holding Lotus latifolius, an endemic plant species of Santo Antão. In the valley behind me more than 19 endemic plant species can be found. But what is an endemic species? A species that only occurs in a limited area is called an endemic species. Cap Verde is a real hotspot of endemic species. But why? Millions of years ago the archipelago was created by volcanic activity. The first plant and animal species that populated the islands had to cross the Atlantic. Due to Cape Verde's isolation from continental Africa, many new species developed in a relatively short period of time. This makes endemic species to true witnesses of evolution. The endemic plants of Santo Tau are also essential for many other species groups as insects, for example the endemic butterfly species Pilades evore, or birds as the Cape Verde sparrow. Due to various factors, many endemic species are now threatened with extinction, although some of them may not have even been discovered yet. This plant has more luck than other individuals in the area because it grows next to a shrub that protects it against the grazing goats. While overgrazing, in this dry area of the nature park is the major threat for the endemic plants, it is also the most important source of income for the local communities. As herbivore mammals were only introduced by the first settlers in the 15th century, they are not a natural part of the ecosystems of Cape Verde. Due to the lack of adaptability to browsing, many species relevant to nature conservation are eaten. The low rainfall on most of Santo Antão creates a landscape characterized by sparse and drought resistant vegetation, which can turn into deserts when overgrazed. This is the case in the Topo da Coroa nature park, where thousands of free roaming goats can be found. While most of Santo Antão is covered with these dry, savanna like landscapes, the northern part of the island appears in a completely different light. The mountain range holds moist air and clouds coming from the Atlantic Ocean, supporting lush and moist habitats. Within the stunning Pole Valley, an extremely rare plant species occurs, Carex antoniensis which grows in wet soils. While the conversion of habitats into fields used to be the primary cause of the species' decline, today it's particularly an invasive plant. The introduced cypress species with the local name Goya overgrows the remaining individuals and threatens the survival of the entire species. Today, only a few individuals of this astonishing species can be found in the whole world. In both parts of the islands, ecosystems were degraded and the populations of endemic species are at risk. If no conservation measures are taken, it will only be a matter of time before many species will disappear forever. But the nature conservation organization Terrimar, led by Silvana Hock, has set itself the goal of protecting their unique life above the clouds. Man.